everybody! It's Joni B. And Jenny B. And today we're talking about our favorite cities we have visited with Viking. Woo! It's all of them! <laughs> <laughs> but we've picked our top five to narrow it down for you. Okay, if we must. <gasps> I broke it! So our top five favorite city. This list was very hard to come up with, by the way, because like she said, we liked all of them. All of them. But coming in number five is Corfu, Greece. <gasps> oh, I loved Corfu. We visited this city on the Mediterranean Odyssey Viking Ocean Cruise, which was just an amazing cruise all around. Yes, it was. Um, everything that you would want. Um, good food, good people. All age groups, great entertainment, and then the ports are wonderful, mm -hmm. which being Corfu was one of them. So we went on the excursion that went, yes. gave us the highlights of everything. And it went up the mountain where you could get the most perfect picture, the iconic Corfu picture of Mouse Island. Yes. And the monastery. Oh, it's good. It's a good picture and a good video. But my favorite part of Corfu was the cats. <laughs> they were everywhere. Well, yeah, they were pretty much everywhere. I love cats. So, and they came to you and visited with mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So I know because when we were up on that little road where we took the pictures. Very little road. You had the big buses and then you had people coming down the mountain and people walking. Oh, I guess they weren't walking like this. <laughs> I guess you kind of felt like you were walking like that, but you were like, <laughs> And then there was cats, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was fun. The people were great. Yes. I loved it. The um, food was good. Oh yeah, the food was good. We had good. some Greek spreads and meats and cheeses, and <gasps> mm. it was very, very, very good. And it wasn't very crowded in Corfu either. I think we got there right after some ships left, though. So we had a nice, so we had Corfu to ourselves, I guess. They do take credit cards in their market, so just to let you know, um, they love credit cards, their economy, is suffering and so any way that they can get support they're gonna get it so that was great for us because we didn't carry cash so yeah, we hate to carry cash just Classic. to let you know as a little note as you're watching this um some places you will find and don't take your credit card number four is venice italy <gasps> venice venice is just dreamy is the best way i could describe venice everything about it i want to go back Yes. Um, and I will tell you, I said when we were there, I want to come back and I want to stay a month. And I want to just live right there on the canal. And, oh, uh, yeah. Now, when we got off of the ship, we had a purpose in mind. We went to a bookstore. Yes. So that was our mission. She used her GPS and we found this little hole in the wall bookstore that is known worldwide. If you Google Venice bookstore, that's what pops up. It's pretty infamous. And there's supposed to be cats there too, but I don't think we, we didn't saw cats. find the cat. We didn't find cats. I was a little bit crushed, but I but, survived. But a lot of books. Oh yeah. Um, it's kind of a really cool place to take pictures. Um, and then so after that, we just kept meandering, and all of a sudden, we hit a very large and overwhelming group of people. Like, you couldn't even walk <laughs> properly. It was a little overwhelming for me because I really get, I don't like crowds. I mean, and we're talking, it was like nothing to, ba bam Yeah, it was like you went from quiet, calm walk in the country to New York City on New Year's Eve. I mean, it was unbelievable. Um, not, I don't say that every, they were, not any rude people. No. And I mean, they were just, you better get in the flow because if not, you were going to get trampled. <laughs> and that night we went to a, a performance. So we actually took um, a boat into the canals to this, um, to the place that we were going to go to. That was very cool. Amazing. Number three is from a different cruise. It is from our first Viking cruise, the Grand European Tour, and it is Melk, Austria. <gasps> I love Melk. This one is an interesting one because Melk is the tiniest of tiny towns. It's so small. 
but so cute. I, talk about adorable. I mean, it was not the colorful little towns that you mm -hmm. see, you know, you get pictures of and stuff like that. This was white and with the splashes of colors of people's plants or their bicycles or, oh, I, I loved it. I know the people from the cruise, they were going up to um, the Abbey. The Abbey, which we did walk up there. We just didn't go inside. Yeah, um, fruit trees, all that kind of, so I mean it was very cool and then you could look down over mm -hmm. the city, but just walking in the little town with the little shops and I loved it. Number two, Prague, Czech Republic. <gasps> Prague, well I think we'll always have a special place in our hearts. It was our first city we ever visited in Europe. So already it's just special, but Prague is amazing. I loved it. I mean you had lots of old, Oh yeah. But then you had new stuff. Mm -hmm. And the way that it they did it, it just all blends together and it's just an amazing place. And the hotel we stayed at was we, quite a ways yeah. from the city center, but you could see the, the city from our hotel. And the people were really friendly. People are wonderful. It's so clean. It's very clean. To this day, probably the cleanest city we've ever seen. I mean, they not a speck of trash on the ground. People were out there cleaning, not just sweeping, but full on cleaning their storefronts. It was And crazy. when we first got there again, okay, so we'll go back to the getting the Coke thing. The hotel we stayed at did um, Pepsi. Yep. And so we were on a mission. And again, we were outside city center, so we were out in a more, I guess more residential. Yeah. Because there are like apartments and things. So we went on the look for but the first hurdle was we couldn't figure out how to get out of the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a level and then another level and we were just confused. So that took us a little while, but then we figured it we out. We got that and then Joni B, my favorite thing, is she doesn't really do it anymore, which I'm kind of disappointed. I probably made her self-conscious about it. She asks people for things and she does it in an accent. <laughs> do you know where I could find a Coca-Cola? <laughs> easier for them to understand or if for some reason they don't speak English but pretty much everybody in Prague does speak English so the lady was just kind of like um shop down the street oh really a shop down the street thank, thank, thank you, you. <laughs> so I got my coke but then I couldn't figure out how to work the credit card machine at the little store so and they did take credit cards yeah. I got paid back for that one it, everything was in not English. <laughs> and so it asked me to push a button, but I didn't know what I was asking to push the button for. Maybe if you would have said, this button? But I didn't ask, and so I just stood there and stared at the little pin pad until the guy finally turned it around and just pushed the button for me. And then if you want to see the clock that changes, yeah. You can get with a big old group of people that also <laughs> wants to see the clock change. <laughs> that was your first Starbucks. Yes, Europe, wasn't it? there's a Starbucks right there by the clock. So if you need a fix, it's right there. <laughs> And they have a hard rock there too. We also went there. <laughs> we have the shirt to prove it. So they had all kinds of really cool stuff. You'll have to go to our, our channel and watch the video because that was pretty cool. So and then, yes. And then go to Prague on your own because it's just it's amazing. Yeah. You want to give him some money? No. <laughs> We're at number one. This city is from our most recent cruise biking, which is the Rhine Getaway. And it is Basel, Switzerland. Basel. Oh. Basel is just perfect. It was pretty amazing. And we're going back there. We are. In September. We're going back in September. So, Yay. yeah, because it was cold. We had to wear our jackets, but we walked. Oh, yeah. And then you also could take their their transit. Their, their transit, transit system. Easy. You say the same thing. Yeah. It's perfect. We had a little Basel car because we were staying at the Hyperion Hotel. You just hop on the thing, they don't even check your card. And I guess unless they do a random card check, you hop on, take it a few stops and boom. And then we had Cordon Bleu. Delicious. And the, another thing, if you go there and you, you're a cheese eater, I'm not a cheese eater. I mean, I'll eat cheese, but not like fondue. That's what their specialty is, is fondue. And we watched several people get a big, huge pot of a fondue, cheese. Fondue, yeah. <laughs> With some bread to just dunk. But yeah. Great, friendly people, friendly, friendly people. That seems to be a theme 
for a lot of places that we've been to with Viking. The people are just generally very friendly. Even if you're Americans who don't know how to speak the language, you're just like, yeah, like the little German or the little Swiss, Swiss guys in the... Oh yeah, when we walked into the Cordon Bleu restaurant, this group of older men started talking to us in German. Hey! <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. It, was, it must have been their nightly or early evening drink a beer kind of thing because it was a whole table of them. But it was very cool. It was That was really neat because the girl who took care of us, who was our Viking host in Basel, she set all that up for us. You know, what would you like to eat? And uh, we just walked from the hotel down there. and It was and, the cutest little local restaurant. Yeah. Which you could tell when we walked in. And that's what I like about Viking too, that, you know, you learn about those little small little places. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So I can't wait to go back. But yep, I would think that that was the big number one. And we went during the Christmas market, so. Yes, and that was our first experience with the Christmas market was in Basel. So naturally, it's going to be one of the best. Because once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all. <laughs> I've just defended everyone who likes Christmas markets. Oh, and they had really good pretzels. Because remember, we stopped at that little oh, pretzel yeah. place. Oh, yeah. They did have good pretzels. They had good everything. Yeah. We even went to a tapas restaurant, so. Yeah. We experienced all the things. With the ham croquettes. Oh, those were good. That's really good. The only th weird thing was the potatoes. It was the potatoes with the vomit sauce. <laughs> but, no, it was great. And um, I loved it. And we love Viking, which is why we rated the top five cities we've been to with Viking. It's just a great way to travel and see parts of the world that you decide you want to go back to. To get a little sample, and then you go back and you get more. Yeah. And then if you maybe you don't like it, but then you don't it's have okay. to go back. You'll be somewhere else tomorrow. Do Viking. Yes, do Viking. Links in the description to all the trips we've been on, and they have many, many more where that came from. So, and you can do Ocean, which Corfu, their ship's amazing. Their spa is top notch. Luxurious. Oh, so good. Food, I mean, you can have all kinds of food. River, of course, much smaller, uh, more intimate. But still but a great experience awesome. to have. Yeah, especially our last one was absolutely amazing. I guess the advice we can give for a Viking cruise is to really put yourself out there and meet people. We didn't do that the first time around, but we sure did it the last time, and yeah. we made great friends. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all those videos yes. coming in the subscribe, future. Subscribe, and then if you have any questions about Viking, you know, maybe you're going on one, maybe, yeah. Hit us up. We'll answer anything we can help you with. Um, wonderful. We love Viking. We highly recommend Viking. Um, again, we're going again in September. Ooh, and what is that ooh. trip? Paris to the Swiss Alps. Yes. So stay tuned for that one. So, all right. So our top five Viking visits. We will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Watch your booty. Go oh, watch out. You ah! Lord! <laughs>